All right, my friends. So uh, first uh, game of the preseason that uh, Orlando City supporters can attend. And I'm heading over there. I'm heading to downtown right now. I'm super excited about it. Um, you know, see what the team looks like. I'm not too thrilled into the, well, we need to win or not, because it's a preseason, doesn't really count. Montreal is gonna is the Canadian champion, and they are going to be in the CONCACAF Champions League. They have already started the camp earlier than uh, Orlando, because CCL teams get, have that benefit of starting earlier. And also, they had uh, several... Um, games already with uh, with good competition, by the way. So they are informed, and I think uh, as a club that has struggled to make playoffs themselves, and they are starting with a new uh, manager, I think this is going to be a good matchup uh, for our club. What I will, three things I would like to see tonight is number one, I want to see uh, the combinations of the different players, how they mesh together. Two, I want to see What's going to be our identity? What type of style are we going to try to implement in the season? And number, th number three, I would like to also see how aggressive Orlando City is. Since Adrian Heath, we have been very timid. We're not attacking an attacking team. We are a very low-scoring team. And uh, basically, it's very boring football. And what made me fall in love with Orlando City was a uh, very aggressive style, very fun style, very fast style. And I think a lot, of, a lot of Orlando City fans like that type of style of football. So with that said, we're going to go to the stadium. We're going to go see what the team looks like. I'm going to probably do a little tour and everything. Also, the game is not streamed, so I'm going to try to do that on my uh, personal account of Twitter. So hopefully... Um, you, you were able to catch it um, by the time this, this comes out. Um, if you don't follow me, I am at OC underscore Lion uh, in Twitter. And uh, let's, see what, let's see what happens. I'm super excited. Uh, I was supposed to go there with my family, but at the end of the day, they found other better things to do. So I'm going by myself, but not really because all my friends are going to be there. So we'll see. Well, there it is, my friends. Exploria Stadium. Uh, this view is from um, Paramore Avenue. Originally, Paramore Avenue actually uh, cut through what the where the stadium is now. The stadium actually sits in two plots of the city, and uh, what used to be the northern part of Paramore Avenue. Um, usually, this road is closed on game day, but uh, because it's uh, low turnout for this friendly, uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be open to the public. So I'm um, gonna head out to where I usually park, and um, uh, which is in, nowhere near here. It's uh, it's in the, uh, the uh, this other street, but um, uh, as you can see, there's a there's a there's an excitement. Uh, in the fan base, I see a lot of people. Uh, to be honest with you, I was expecting a very low turnout. Uh, this is not the, the 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 type of turnout that we usually get uh, during the season. I mean, we get more than this, um, and th that's the reason why my kids and my wife they want to go. They're like, ah, you know, it's really not uh, a game that counts for anything, and so they decided to go to my in-laws instead. So. Let me go park. Here's a stadium. Let me go park, and uh, and then we're gonna get to see a little bit more. Okay. All right, my friends. So here we are doing a walk that I do like 17 times a season. We'll watch the Lions, and uh, so there's a stadium, and uh, hopefully. Hopefully we have a good showing tonight. Like I said, uh, the nature of the game is not winning. It's just basically seeing how the team has progressed on the Oscar Pareja. If you um, watch the previous episode, you know that myself and my partner Kenneth, uh, my co-host in the Tiro de Esquina podcast, we met him and he was super nice. And well, what can I say? Uh, we left with a very good impression. And uh, 
after years of disappointment, part of me is afraid that we're gonna go through the same stuff again. But that's that's what being a supporter is. You know, it's about holding faith and letting things happen organically. I don't think we ever had a manager, a competent manager and, and good talent. So I guess it will be unjust to compare uh, these guys with the teams of the past. So we'll, we'll have to see what happens uh, as we uh, walk to 655 West Church Street. And uh, let's say that I was here for a lot of it. All right, my friends, so I'm gonna cut off as soon as we get to through security, and then um, then I'll see you guys on the other side. Well, friends, I'm on the last row. You can see last row. All right, my friends, and with this, I leave you uh, Orlando City convincingly defeated uh, Montreal Impact 1-0. And uh, I'm uh, leaving the stadium now. Uh, super exciting night. 
uh, our boys definitely and let me show you guys this if I can um, hold on a second well I well there you go I don't know if you can see it the building with the purple and gold for Orlando City um, so Orlando City definitely showed a lot of quality uh, tonight um, there were some mistakes that were made, but you know that's what the uh, that's what the, the, these games are for, to see what we're all about. The consensus with all the people that I talked to was one simple one: that they rather see Orlando City, um, Orlando City, be defeated by uh, an MLS opponent or for Orlando City to defeat an MLS opponent rather than play against some uh, low-level university, 17-0, uh, and then say, oh, see, look how great we are. We did this, we did that. When the reality is, is that uh, uh, our team needs to be tested for us to know what quality do we have. Uh, the team looked very good. I mean, it was a, it was a game where um, Montreal hit the woodwork once. It's also a game where... Um, we had our chances that we unfortunately were unable to put away. Uh, but the reality is, is that uh, we were able to score uh, on a free kick. And we were able to uh, play fast, attack, and be defensively cohesive. That's the important part of the night to me. I uh, hope uh, you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, Orlando City uh, is going to be playing next against um, the champion of the Icelandic League uh, next Tuesday, I believe, or the following Tuesday. Uh, they already, uh, our OCB and our some of our players went down to the USF campus in Tampa uh, and played uh, DC United, and that ended up 1-1. Uh, uh, we sent a very uh, depleted young uh, roster down there. So getting the tie to me uh, speaks volumes of the quality that, of those boys. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, you know, super excited. Um, the, the, there was a nice crowd, about 10,000 at the stadium. And uh, with that said, vamos Orlando until the next episode.